This is the latest disclosure, a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. This list will be repeated throughout our news coverage. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you. Make your way to that location as soon as possible. So we have that truck. We can get some gas. We can get out of here. There's a pump out by the shed. I know that's why I pulled in here, but it's locked. Emergency meeting called this afternoon by the president. Why are space experts being consulted about an earthbound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale murders we're now suffering? Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed those questions. It's obvious our best move is to try to get out of here. How are you going to get over to that pump? Look! Uh, you're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probe, is that right? Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon? A, there's a definite connection. A definite connection. We're hoping to get some further explanation from this. We've heard all we need to know. We have to try to get out of here. He said the rescue stations have doctors and medical supplies. If we could get Karen there, we could get help for her. Oh, it's one of the world's foremost authorities on space science and technology. Willard. I they saw a sign that said Willard. It's only about 17 miles from here. You know this area. You from around here? Judy and I are both from around here. We were on our way up to the lake to go swimming. And Judy had a radio, and we heard the first reports about this. So we knew the old house was here, and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Then these other people came. We went down into the basement and put a bar across the door, and it is pretty strong. How could we possibly get away from here? We've got a sick child. Two women, one woman out of her head, three men, and the place is surrounded with this thing. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff, I know, has been working very hard to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Look, you go down there and tell you know, Judy. Yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? room at the university, uh, we had a cadaver, a cadaver from uh, which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. She went upstairs. Did she ask for me? She hasn't been. I don't understand. Baby. It's mommy. I heard. I'll come back down as soon as I find out what they want. Thank you, Judy. Well, how long after death, then, does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, no, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. The bodies must be carried to the street and, and, and burned. Uh, they must be burned immediately. So gasoline and burn them. Is there a fruit cellar here? Yes. We need some bottles or jars to make Molotov cocktails and hold them off while we try to escape. Hey, there's a big can of kerosene down there. I'll see what I can find. I'll look for the bottles. We can toss some cocktails from a window upstairs. Meantime, a couple of us can go out and try to get the gas and come back for the rest of the people. I found some fruit jars in the cellar. And there's a key on here that's labeled for the gas pump out back. After we get the gas and get back into the house, then we'll worry about getting everybody into the truck. Now let's move it. Are you sure we're doing the right thing, Tom? What, about getting out of here? Yeah. Well, the television said that's the right thing to do. We've got to get to a rescue station. I don't know. Come on, honey, you're starting to sound like Mr. Cooper now. Why do you have to go out there? 
I know how to handle that truck, and I can handle the pump. Ben doesn't know anything about that stuff. This isn't a passing thing, honey. It, it's not like just a wing passing through. We've got to do something, and fast. At this hour, they report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. So long as this situation remains, 
government spokesman warned that dead bodies will continue to be transformed into the flesh-eating ghouls. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims unless their bodies are first disposed of by cremation. All law enforcement agencies and the military have been organized to search out and destroy the marauding ghouls. The Survival Command Center at the Pentagon has disclosed that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head. Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. And those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. There wasn't, though. We heard them making all kind of noise. We came over and beat them off, blasted them down. Yeah, okay. Chief, uh, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't get yourself a club or a torch, beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Official spokesmen declined to speculate just how long it may take to kill off all the flesh eaters, so long as they had to... Huge box in the cellar? I don't know. I... It isn't the fuse. The power lines are down. Helen, I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? But two people are dead already on account of that guy. Take a look out that window, Chloe.
Well, we want to get about four or five men and a couple dogs. There's a house over here behind those trees. We want to go check it out. Thank you. Come here, Bill. Yes, Chief, we're going to stay with us till we meet up with the National Guard. Where'd you get the One of the volunteers. You're doing all the work, you think. Thank you. We should be wrapped up here about three or four more hours. We'll probably get into Willard then. I guess you can go over there and meet the National Guard. Nick, you and the rest of these men want to come with me? Well, Bill, let's check in the office see what's happening. All right, Steve, tell them we're going to stay with us, and uh, everything appears to be under control. <laughs> Check out the house. Somebody had a cook out here, Vince. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Huh? Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire. 